Oscar, you are the co-founder and CEO of Bitcoin Indonesia. So you're an expert in this country. Okay, so first tell us what is the current status of the cryptocurrency market in this country? Currently, we have about 550,000 members registered in our site. And uh, actually, the number of members that uh, registered in our site day by day is increased quite a lot. We Around 200 new members is joining our system. So why do you think this is happening? Why is there such a curiosity and increase in this membership? I think because uh, uh, Bitcoin is lately being legalized by Japanese and in many other countries also recognized as currency. And uh, people in Indonesia want to catch up with this technology that's why that and because we have 260 million of people that's why a lot of potential market in here and many of them want to know what is virtual currency what is all this issue about so many of them registered in our site just want to take a look want to see how this technology actually works okay so Indonesia is being poised as ASEAN's biggest cryptocurrency market. Of course, it doesn't happen overnight. So what do you think is the biggest challenge that the country is facing? And how do you think it will be resolved? The biggest challenge is because from our government itself, not define clearly uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as currency or commodity. Mm -hmm. They're actually are having quite big challenge because currency and commodity, commodity have a different regulators. So from our uh, company, we try to follow Indonesian regulation, but mm -hmm. if we don't know who is our regulators, there's also another challenge. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that you agree with regulating the cryptocurrency here in Indonesia? Of course, all industry is agree uh, about regulation in cryptocurrency. I believe that for the business to go really big, we need to follow and support our government. Central Bank of Indonesia has recently cracked down the use of cryptocurrency in terms of payment solutions, right? So how do you think this will impact the growth of cryptocurrency business here in this country? Okay. Uh, I think uh, actually that regulation is coming not recently, but a year ago. Yes. It happened, uh, why just suddenly a lot of news about that? I think because uh, some journalists asking, uh, asking uh, Bank Indonesia about that regulation. And that regulation uh, uh, and the central bank try to explain it to the media. So in Indonesia, Bitcoin is not prohibited. Anyone can use it, but not as payment. That actually the the what central bank mentioned. Yeah, as long as it's not for payment, uh, and people using it for R and D or people just buying it for asset like gold, there is no issue. Yeah. Among all of those cryptocurrencies that Indonesians are using or have been investing on, what do you think is their most favorite? Indonesia is uh, they always happy with a new thing, yeah. And currently have really a lot of cryptocurrency entering in the in internet space, and uh, there currently have about a thousand a hundred cryptocurrency in the market. And uh, people of Indonesia, of course, they know Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the first. But lately, a lot of cryptocurrency go into Indonesia market and they embrace it. They want to know the technology. They want to know the system. So at this point, there is no king among all of these cryptocurrencies. You can say that currently Bitcoin is still the king, but I don't know how this king will last. <laughs>